New tonight, we are sounding off on an issue that impacts you and many others right here in the Valley, the need for more affordable and low income housing. Yeah, well, in our effort to fight for what's right for locals, we went to an event today to highlight the problem and what's being done to fix it. Paulina Buska shows us how community partners are working together. You said you live here and you said you love this place, correct? Yes, I did. Why? Because it's safe for me, you know. And uh, I live in the second floor, it's, it's available the elevator too. For residents like Haiti Marsicano, who lives at the Lake Mead West Apartments, an affordable housing project, having access to an apartment she can get in and out of easily is important. The topic so important, in fact, local nonprofits and Valley organizations are stepping up to talk about how they are working together, combating food insecurity, utility bills, mortgage assistance, senior assistance with Valley residents. Our ESP funds have been extinguished. We're done. Organizations like United Way Southern Nevada, who under the FEMA Food and Shelter Program, has been able to assist area families with housing, food, and community resources, are struggling until more funding becomes available in the coming months. In Washington, we're fighting to get federal resources into our state. But once it comes to the state, the state has to get it out to partner organizations who then reach out to individuals who are struggling. Currently, Clark County ranks in the top 10 for highest concentration of renters in the country. And yet, there is about an 84,000 rental home deficit for those looking for housing. With $500 million heading to Nevada to help with the Home Means Nevada initiative, Congresswoman Susie Lee says the money will go a long way to produce up to 1,000 new units for families and seniors. Is there a need for that in our community? There is a 100% need for low-income houses because this will prevent a lot of homelessness. Home care nurse Deborah Williams says since last year, she's lost many patients who went from housed to unhoused because of financial hardships. I don't know where they are. I'm afraid that to know if they're out there, sick, need a nurse, physical therapy that they've been getting, they did well in the home. But now that I don't see them, I don't know where they are. Reporting in Las Vegas, I'm Paulina Butska.